Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan here, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a tutorial. Uh, someone had asked me about uh, building tanks, and uh, I figured there'd be more people out there who have the same kind of question. Uh, keep in mind though, I'm not the best at this just yet, considering I've only just started working with it about a week ago, at, um, the earliest. So uh, we're just going to try to build something very basic. So for today's episode, we're just going to focus on building a hull and getting all the internal po components worked out. Uh, so the next tutorial after this will be uh, combat. I like combat related stuff like weapons, missiles, stuff like that. So to get started, we're just going to be in the uh, vehicle designer volume restricted. This gives you an idea of how much uh, space you've got to work with. So I'm just going to hold this in the air. For tutorial purposes, we're going to start with uh, heavy armor. Now, this is going to just be building the, um, the lower half of the hull. So this is going to be weighting us down. Uh, for this, we're going to do uh, four uh, beams long. And let's do... Mm, let's do seven wide. That's, that's nine. Um, yeah, we'll do seven. So this is going to be the underside of your hull. The reason why we're using heavy armor is first off, it keeps the mass nice and low. Uh, so that way we don't have to worry about the vehicle tipping over so much. And it prevents, for instance, things like mines uh, blowing up underneath your thing and detonating your ammunition and stuff like that. So next we're going to switch over to just regular uh, metal. This is going to be the main backbone of your uh, vehicle. So we're going to build this up to be about... In the back we're going to have it so that way it's three uh, meters of space up to the roof. But we're going to like slant some stuff as well. So. Uh, because angled armor is stronger. So next we're going to uh, start grabbing some sloping. And for this we're going to... How do we want to do this? Let's do three meters in the front. So right there. And then we're going to grab uh, three meter beams. And we're just going to go straight across with those. So that way we have just a thick uh, armor plating in the front. Next, we're going to switch over to just uh, the diagonal, so that way we just get the most armor protection. I'm going to kind of offset that just so that way uh, the center of the hull is well protected. Uh, underneath, I just do this for aesthetic purposes, but, you know, whatever. I do an under glacis plate, so this is going to be uh, below our front, so this will be uh, the point at which the armor slopes back. And then I'm just going to grab a uh, two meter, uh, just beam. So we've now got a very solid plug of armor in the front, and just to be a little bit safer, we're going to armor it up a little bit more with some two armor beams, uh, two meter beams right there. So that is the front of the hull. Next, we're going to just quickly grab some four meters. And yeah, I feel like that's good. So now we're just gonna do that. And so now we have the basic shape of our hull done. And it's at this point where I start putting on the wheels. So for wheels, we go to air for whatever reason. Uh, wheel turning, this is in charge of turning our vehicle. So we're gonna put uh, one on either side. And then after that, you put wheel powered. Now, the more wheels you have, the faster your vehicle is gonna go and the more likely it's going to flip over. But considering this is already a reasonably heavy vehicle, uh, 291 mass, uh, we're just going to completely cover the sides in wheels because it looks more like tracks that way. And I'm just gonna delete the last one and we, we can armor it up later. So next, we're just gonna grab our beams again and we're gonna go out two blocks this is going to be uh, the start of our side skirts. And then we go across like that. Now this is where you just kind of do your aesthetic stuff, make it you know look how you would prefer it to look. Actually for this we're going to do uh, three beams just because it would fit a little bit better. So 
what we're doing right now is not exactly the most important thing in the design process, but considering this is going to be probably your uh, vehicle that you're going to be using. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, this is going to be the vehicle you're using in the campaign. It might be a good idea to make sure that you pour some time and effort into making something uh, good. So you can actually just angle some of this stuff, make it look nicer, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to make it super simple. Um, and you know, now that we've done this, we can actually just kind of carve out some of this, give us some more room to build a, a stronger turret, something like that. And there we go. So in here would be where we would build our turret, but for just the purposes of this, we're gonna seal off the back and we're going to start with the internals. So we've got pretty strong armor in the front. You can make it as strong as you want, but for this, we're going to start with the engines. Now, these vehicles don't really need powerful engines. So what I'd usually just do is I create some very, very uh, basic engines where they're just the engine block, a uh, cylinder, and then uh, a carburetor. So this should give us about 200 horsepower. Next, we want uh, to go to resources and we're going to get fuel storage. And I typically just do, you know, we could actually probably do this. Yeah, so we could just get one of those, put that in there. We've got 9,000 fuel, fuel, 200 horsepower. So this is a good start. Next, we're going to fit the, uh, the ammunition and stuff. So for the ammunition, you probably want to make sure that it's well armored. And we just put this in the back because, well, if you're going to keep this tank facing to the front, it's probably a good idea to make sure the ammunition is as far away as possible. And we also don't need a lot of ammunition for this either. So for this, we're going to go to resources, ammunition storage, ammo parts box, and we're just going to do that. Then we're going to cover it up. And that's more or less uh, the basics of the hull. Just to show you that it works, though, we're going to go to control. Uh, we can get a vehicle controller. put that up there in the front and then we can get our uh, chair just so that way we spawn inside the vehicle and if we switch out of build mode and we go inside of our vehicle we hold down T and as you can see our uh, our vehicle is moving at a very very nice uh, 57 58 59 gonna get up to 60 meters a second Yep, so we're moving at a very nice 60 meters a second. And from the front, this thing is pretty strong. So this is basically tutorial one. This is just setting up the hull. Our cylinder's overheated, probably because we're going a bit too fast. But uh, just for the purposes of this, we're gonna add in uh, a second set of engines, just because it's probably a good idea to have multiple engines. This is just the setup I personally use. And so that is the start of this tutorial series. Uh, next episode, we'll be working more with uh, sloping the armor, uh, angling it, making it look prettier, and uh, beginning with the uh, AI and uh, detection equipment. And then we'll probably move on to actually fitting this thing with some weapons. And then after that, you know, we could probably move on to some more grand ideas like uh, some of the vehicles I've built. So. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this helps. And um, if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, but with that, I got to go eat lunch and then get to work. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.